Hello and welcome back. So, we are just about to talk to Captain Darmo. Not sure what about, actually. And I really want to check out the jail, because we might need an unsavory character who breaks the locks. Perkomplanka. Don't tell me you're here to complain, too. No. The guardsman covers his face with his hand, groaning. The virus. Are they recruiting right off of the docks? You would think the Juana were storming the Kraken's eye as we speak. Actually, I would like to complain. You're very, you're very rude. I was actually hoping you might be help me. You might be able to help me, actually. Ack, you and everyone else, speak with Commander Savia at the jail if you want a sense of how matters stand. He points a finger at to the east. Yeah, what's going on? A fight, Mestra. One of the Juana women attacked a merchant. He has come at the worst for it. He jerks a thumb toward the nearby door. Now every nationality in town wets himself in terror of losing his coin to the Almawa. We would bring in the thief, but Clario would not have us march into the village and defend Ikawa. Oh, I see. Much longer, and I do not think any of us will have a choice in the matter. If you wanted the details of it, speak to Rinko himself. He will delight in telling you the tale. Darmo makes a sharp, frustrated hand gesture and turns away. Alright, uh, Rinko. What's going on here? So we got an Amana thief? Well, can a thief. Tori. Oh, you, you consider this stealing? Don't be like that. Grog? Real quiet. Huh. Okay. Why looks, not? Looks like we can steal. Leave it. I like it. Seems less troublesome than it was in the previous game. Uh, who's there? No me. Could be anybody. Oh, I already looted the whole thing. Well, I, I can't resist. They just have all these goodies lying around the place. How could you resist? Okay, let's talk to Tori. Mama brings me stuff from her work sometimes. Real old stuff. So garbage. Tori, is that you? Wait, who are you? The figure in the bed is a young valley, a man. The first thing you notice is that he seems to have been severely beaten. One eye is nearly swollen shut, and where his skin is revealed, it is a patchwork of livid bruises. He groans and winces as he props himself up, glaring up at you with one good eye. You look like you already got a foot in the grave. She thumbs the cage of her lantern uh, thoughtfully. <sighs> Come to laugh? Madiko, this would not have stood in Ozia. He yanks at the bedsheet, trying to cover himself. Wait, in Ozia, there would be a crowd in here to taunt you? I don't know if that we should say that. Is that thoughtful? <clears throat> Ringo barks a short laugh, then immediately immediately winces. Thoughtful. Sadi rubs a knuckle along the edge of her jaw. Her jaw? Oh, sorry. Maybe you are right. So you are visiting. What do you want? What happened to you? Iswana. They are an unreasonable people. I was enjoying a night of cards when one of them attacked me, out of nowhere. Were you cheating? I had not spoken a word to her, the mad devil. Look what she did to me, my ear. He turns his head and you see that there is a scabbed over notch where a chunk of flesh has been torn away from his left ear. Wow, 
When the fighting is over, she takes my coin purse and strides away. Bold as anything. <laughs> Street fights, yeah, you should always ditch the jewelry before a fight. <laughs> Come on. Does he really want to hear my smart tessery? I was deep into my cups. It was not a fair contest to begin with. The governor lets the Juana do as they please, and this is the result. I should be out there, helping to find our people. My wife, Zeneta, she... She is out there, and I... He gestures feebly with an arm, grimacing. Listen, I am without other means. She took my coin purse, my wages. How am I to pay the governor? How am I to feed my son? His already bruised purple face reddens further. That woman should be in the stocks. The guards do nothing. But you, you've heard me out at least. Do me the kindness of retrieving that coin purse, and I will give you what I can spare. Sounds fair. Maybe I can reason with this woman. Where should I start? They call her Mokeha. I imagine she is back in her village, feeling proud of herself, no doubt. Follow the road as it bends north, then west. You can't miss it. A pile of sticks and straw. With that, he sags back against the mattress, clearly exhausted. Okay. You must gather your party before. Do we have to take that road? I think we do. Also, I can force rest. Can I? I can rest till dawn. I'm not sure, so sure if uh, uh, time is a uh, is a concern in this game, or can I just like spy. No doubt about it. rest all I want? Dramatic entrance for us. Royal Deadfire Company works with all types. Governor and Clarius Estate. They I just check out the jail the first. Flint and Tinder? Does it have any value? Probably crafting. I can steal that? Why not? Oh, I can't. Rum dum riggery. Hey, Savia. Yes. What is it I can do for you? The watch commander looks up at you after her listless greeting, and you notice that she has a dark bruise around one eye. She grimaces, but does not turn away. What happened to you? What happened? I showed the drunken fool more patience and respect than he deserved, and he struck me without warning. Well, that sucks. Siente, Savia. You know that I was aiming for Darmo's pretty face. Shut up. Something you wanted? I don't see many guards around. We are stretched thin. The storm speaker did much to help, but much of the town has flooded. Now we are awash in homeless citizens and stranded merchants, to say nothing of the cultists out there. Storm Speaker, a special type of chanter found among the Huana. Storm Speakers are especially attuned to the forces of weather. Storm Speakers traditionally serve tribes settling on unexplored or especially remote islands, offering protection during the periods of transition. Savia glances up at Soti, expression flat, but keeps silent. Now I have Ilari's people making trouble up on Gorechi Street. His little gang is looting everything they can get their hands on, and the Bozzo kicks up his heels like a prince. Mm. Lucky for you that I'm around. I, uh, humbly offer my services. Let me out and I will bring you this Ilari's teeth. Shot it, Rigeri. I could go speak to this Ilari. Kue. I cannot say it would not be welcome, but you are only recently arrived, and not I here by choice. Why do this? Good question. 
Uh, I'm asking that myself. Seems like a good chance to crack some skulls. I would not wish to send a woman who is not ready for a fight, but perhaps I have done a poor job of explaining the situation. Savvy size. Gorechi Street is in the western part of town. Just walk until you hit water. We don't need a bloodbath. I'm sure there's a peaceful solution to resolve this. I'd appreciate your looking for it. All right. How are things in Port Maya? We lost no one to the storm, but many homes have been damaged. And the people are terrified of this giant the scouts reported. It is chaos, pure and simple. But things might have been far worse. Okay. Taking it pretty well. Very well. I can't bust out the guy. Ado, stranger. Or is it captain? You have the carriage of a captain. A noble bearing all around. The man in the cell wobbles slightly as he steps forward, fixing an eager smile and a glassy gaze upon you. Apreta, you must free me. I am a creature of the sea. I am not meant for this dark place. I will dry and wither like a landed fish. I could use... You're my crew. What do you need me to do? You see how fate has brought us together? Yeah. The ice-hearted guard. She has set my fine at 400 pyres. I have... Now, I flounder here until the debt is paid. Any suggestions on how to get you out of here? A matter of coin. 400 beautiful coins. That or the key, yes? The door is the thing. Rigger leans in to wrap his fingers around the bars of his cell, rattling them to no effect. He sets his forehead to the bars, sighing. The commander, she guards the keys like a jealous wife. It would take steady hands to slip it from her pocket. That is, if you have need of keys at all. He turns a finger in small circles by the lock and winks clumsily at you. You think me idle to ask this of you and do nothing? I have scratched, madam, a little mortar from beneath the bars at the window at every chance. The uh, stonework, it is very strong. I can do nothing by hand. With tools, perhaps. With uh, explosives, for certain. Norgund in the Kraken's eye, he carries many such useful items. All for legitimate use, of course. Animancers, they love explosives. He raises his brows and grins tootly. Do you know your way around the ship? Do I know ships? She asks. I know every vessel on these waters. Everyone from the galleon to the... to the... Every one of them, madam. You have enemies? These fists will drive them into the waiting arms of the sea goddess. He clenches his fists, raising them above his head for emphasis. What did you do to end up here? I did no one any harm. I am at the Kraken's eye so often Thorl should pay me. I sample every bottle for quality. My loyalty has given him heirs. I would have paid what I owed in time, had I the coin. You walked out on a tab, Rigere. Nothing to boast of. And then you crawled up to the governor's estate, pissed on the steps, and resisted arrest. Merla, I do not remember that at all. <laughs> right on the steps? I am sorry for the last. I tell you, Savia, I cannot help my magnificent reflexes. You were being very grabby. <laughs> Alright, let's leave. Hmm. So, I need to bust some guys. Not sure where they are, actually. Why, do I have a quest log? I have journal. Wait a second.
I can bust him out. A small barred window is set into the wall here, looking in on the cell inside the building. So I can't make that work. So we have a lot of ways to bust out Rigare. Quickly and quiet. I'm not the best at sneaking around. Yeah, she knows about us. No sweat. Mechanics too low to pick the lock. We can also pay. Paying is fine, I guess. Keeping out of trouble. Yeah, I'm gonna pay rigor is fine. The Verus. Well, good riddance to him. It's your coin to spend. Savia pulls a ring of keys from her pocket and moves toward the cell door. Come on, 400 copper? That doesn't matter. Might just be on our best behavior. See you at your ship. Great. Are we done with that guy? Yep. And busted him out. So, time to check out the governor. Port Maya Guard. Sure. Do you have to have such a fancy establishment? What? Why do you have a sword? We can't steal from him because he hears us. We are not so good at stealing. Does it take the same amount of time? No. Won't work. Eh, no problem. Okay, we can steal from that barrel. Not sure if I care that much about stealing. Sure. Okay. Uh, let's go, guys. Time to see and not be seen. Port Maya Guard. Oh, look at that. Why not? No. Good, huh? We need lockpicking. So I can't go upstairs. Painting of a wooden glade. Uh, look at that. We won't be able to steal here, I guess. Got it. Sure. All right. Where are you, Losa? With all that has happened, it is a wonder we do not have riot on our hands. Hey. You never know. Uh, Maybe he's just coming. As governor and under the auspices of the Balian Trading Company, please allow me to officially welcome you to Port Maje. Maje. He spreads his hands in a subdued flourish. I'd like to say the pleasure's all mine, but I try not to lie. Don't worry. I'm only here on account of her. She pops her head in your direction. Do I, do I know this voice actor? I don't know. I'm definitely not familiar with a voice actor doing this accent, but I might know the voice actor. Of course. I see you've been as quick to involve yourself as ever. Claria Stone is polite, but there is a strained edge to his wide smile as he turns from Xoti to address you. Apologies for that little drama outside. These are confusing times and people often react poorly to uncertainty. You got a pretty big house here. Uh, definitely not corrupt, uh, Governor Clario. Between the storm, the pirates, and the, well, certain strange events, we are all a little on edge. 
He spreads his hands in an apologetic uh, gesture. Like literally, every, well, your house is bigger than the tavern, and everybody's house in town combined. Strange events. A few, well, quite a few people here in Bormage claim to have seen a giant of some kind during the storm. Yeah, that's exactly what I'm here. Clary of Vinces. I would call it a flight of fancy, but unless something has tainted every well in the region, I do not think it can be ignored. But then, the Deadfire is a land full of such things. You must have heard the stories. Uh, that wasn't a giant, uh, that was actually Yotas. The governor's mouth mounts a voiceless ah of understanding and studies you for a moment. You'll find good company among the Dawn Stars here in town. They have all manner of theories concerning the behemoth. I'm not a fucking idiot! He rifles casually through a few papers. Now, to the matter of your ship. You're stranded, are you? It was a rough landing by all reports. Unfortunately, our own ships are in no condition to sail. We've had dealings with the pirates ourselves. They've taken their share of supply ships. The storm saw to those berthed in the harbor. All that said, I believe I may have a solution, provided you're willing to help me in turn. I'm Lady of Cadnua. Couldn't I owe you a favor? Am I really still the Lady of Cadnua? What could I do for you? Uh, what could I do for you? I just got here. Indeed. Which means I can spare you, whereas I cannot spare the guards. Okay. I have the guards on the lookout for pirate vessels looking to take advantage of whatever damage the storm caused. We've cannons enough to see them off, but I need every man ready to use them. There is a site of some considerable value elsewhere on the island. A value to the trading company, you understand? In point of fact, it's the very reason any of us are here. You're familiar with the luminous Adra trade? Um, I guess? I know the luminous Adra is supposed to have a house more concentrated... To house more concentrated essence? I know that luminous Adra is a native to the Deathfire. Is native to the death fire. I guess I know that, so I know I know things, man. I know know about the luminous Adra. It's also quite valuable. When refined, it sells for considerable sums. The trading company has invested a lot of time and money into locating sites suitable for mining and processing. How valuable? Valuable enough to make sailing across the world seem like a sound investment. We, and I hope you understand that these matters require some discretion, have one such outpost on the other side of the island. A successful venture, up until very recently. We sought to improve the refinement process. To that end, we hired some of the brightest minds in the field of animancy and brought them out here to lend their expertise. Um, okay. And then one evening, a storm rolls in out of nowhere and my scouts begin to report that the giant has marched its way across the island towards my dig site? What am I to make of that? Guess he's taking your Adra. We haven't heard from Mestre Odorisi since, nor any of his assistants or the workers. I must know what has happened. If Odorisi, if his work is lost, then everything that we have worked for is at risk. More like lost, but sure. Which is where you come in. You need a ship, I need information. See to this for me, and I'll set half the town to work. We'll patch up your ship, and you'll be free to go on your way. Hmm. And what? 
And if I find this or the Siri or the Risi? Why? Take his report on the situation and remind him that he's under certain contractual obligations. And relay my deep relief at his good health, of course. I guess I can do that. Gilad, then we are agreed. I will assign men to keep watch over your ship. You will find the dig site on the eastern side of the island. I'll mark it on your map here. You'll do it for the watcher, but not for me? I see how it is. <laughs> With a, discon a discontented sound, she crosses her arms over her chest. Yes! Why wouldn't I want a pack of dawn stars crawling over my Adra mine in search of their lost deity? <laughs> Claria darts a quick, sour look in Xota's direction. One more thing. If you should recover Odorisi's notes, know that they would be of great value to me. Mm. We leveled up again. Wow. What am I supposed to go for? Metaphysics? Arcana? Explosives? How does it work? This mechanics. Should I just bump my mechanic skill a little bit? I think I might just do that. And bump the metaphysics as well. Oh, I don't know what to go for. Oh, I can pick two abilities. Including a one passive one. Deflection bonus if I have a shield. Well, I probably should pick two skills. At level two. Confused. I think that's one of the better skills. Bewildering Spectacle. I can also pick level one skill. Mirrored Image. Miasma of Dual Mindedness. Blind a bunch of guys. Do I have something that... Beam? Accuracy? But that's basically like 50 to 90 damage. Ray of Fire seems like a good one. Bounces two times. But does less damage on bounces. Knocks people prone. It doesn't say what kind of AoE it has. For 20 meters. I don't know how it works. Ray of Fire seems nice. Burn damage. Per one second. I don't know. Let's go with Ray of Fire and uh, Bewildering Spectacle. Next. It's a bit tougher to uh, pick skills for a wizard. What do I have? The Wildering Spectacle. Oh yeah, quick save completed. Okay. Yeah, I, I need to... Okay. Be a bit more crafty with my hotkeys. Athletics, explosives. Should I pick up mechanics? Athletics. I think athletics is important for him. Okay, what else we got? Intimidate. Well, we can use Intimidate. Street fights could be good as well. Okay. What is this? Fighter stances. Defender stance. So, is he gonna be a defender? I don't know.
30% of grazes converted to hits with proficient weapons. I don't even know what are uh, his proficient weapons. That's, that would be a good thing to know about, actually. Uh, so what kind of weapons you like? Medium shield, saber, and unarmed. So either we make her a uh, him, like a double saber guy, or like a medium shield plus saber guy. 30% resistance against weapons. Okay, that seems okay. Anyway, uh... So, let's go with Streetwise, Athletics, Two-Handed Weapons, Two-Weapon Style, Weapon and Shield Style, Shield Deflection Bonus also applies to Reflex. Now, do I want that? Into the fray? The fighter pulls... The fighter lunges through the battle, pulling an enemy into immediate melee range. In, then causing crush damage, leaving them dazed. Okay. What's this... Fighter stances? Mop stance, guardian stance... Okay, let's go with fighter stances and weapon and shield style. Because that seemed to make the most sense for now. Third level fighter. So he's gonna use saber plus medium shield. That's what he's the best at. Also, we got the stances right now cleaving stance. Instant AoE attack. What is this? Warrior stance, more accuracy and deflection. Okay, and what is this? Defending stance. More enemies engaged. And I don't know if you need that. Warrior stance seems like a, a good general choice. As long as we kill a bunch of people. Sorry, I don't know about you. Arcana, we probably don't need that. We can go for alchemy. History. Like, no one else is doing religion, so I guess you're gonna do religion. And damn. Grant target ally a fit inspiration for an extended duration. Places magical seal on the floor that sends enemies sprawling on contact, causing them to become prone. The priest clears their mind, spreading the clarity to nearby allies, therefore granting them resolute inspiration. That's not too impressive. Weapon, summon weapon sickle, summon weapon lantern. Okay. That's so dumb. Iconic projection. Creates a slow-moving energetic projection of the priest's fate, returning health to allies and inflicting freeze damage to enemies. I think that's one of the better ones that I liked using. Okay, so also we're gonna go with pillars, Pillar of Fate. Yeah, that's not really a shield, right? Does she have a weapon and shield style? Is that lantern uh, considered the shield? Mm -hmm. I don't know. Small shield, actually. Interesting. So... Maybe yes. Let's check it out. Uh, yeah, alchemy, religion... Next, we're gonna pick that up, and maybe we're gonna go with weapon and shield style, because it increases the shield deflection. Yeah, that's that's good. I guess? Okay. I'm, I'm gonna... 
go back once more just to see what her weapon skills are. Hatchet, small shield. Yeah, that's what she's good at. All right. Arcana. No, let's go with alchemy and religion. And weapon shield style. And we also have withdraw. I can only use one uh, magic from, well, in that level. So we might as well just head out and do a mission. But the the fact that I can actually respect characters makes it just fine. So I I don't I can't really make mistakes I suppose. But I suppose the the character you are with does not change. So, I, I chose a fighter, or a dare, and that's not gonna change ever. But this modo stands for warriors, actually pretty good. Accuracy plus defense. Deflection, that, that seems pretty damn good. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> what? Did you badmouth elves? Can I do you for? So, Xodi's so uh, definitely... I can check this out. Hmm, yeah, whatever. Yeah. What? Port Maya Harbor. That's where we are. We can go to Gorachi Street. Satahuzi. What, what supply? Really? On foot? By sea? It will take you 2 hours, 20 minutes to exit the city. Um, What is that? It's not something I can click on. Maybe we gotta go towards Satahuzi because... Uh, we got a, a mission at Gorachi Street, but we got a possible follower at Satahuzi. So let's go there. And we got that mission earlier, so, hey. By the way, I don't know if you guys want to see the whole uh, process of me thinking about the characters, the setup, maybe the trading. I can try to skip all of these things, just to focus on the story and the fighting, and I don't know. But I think, uh, like, the whole, like, thinking of the characters and uh, trying to set them up. And everything. It's just uh, part of the fun, so... Why not? So I guess I'm gonna go with that. <clears throat> anyway, uh, wow. Maybe this is the time to, time to take a break. I'm trying to keep the episodes more like a, a half an hour or so. Uh, if you have uh, any opinion on that, uh, do tell me as well. Anyway, uh, thanks for watching and see you next time.